हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ प्रिडिक्टेड पेपर वीडियो क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ए पार्ट सिंपलीफाई रूट एटी माइनस फाइव इंटू रूट फोर्टी फाइव प्लस सिक्स रूट ट्वेंटी दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑफ दर्ड चैप्टर दिस इज ऑफ टू मार्क्स नाउ रूट एटी कैन बी रिटर्न एज स्क्वेर रूट सिक्सटीन इंटू फाइव माइनस फाइव एज इट इज फोर्टी फाइव कैन बी रिटर्न एज नाइन इंटू फाइव प्लस Six root twenty can be written as four into five. This can be written further written as root sixteen into root five minus five root nine into root five plus six into root four into root five. Now root sixteen is we know that root sixteen is four, so four root five minus five into root nine is three. Into root five plus six, root two root four is two, into root five. Now this will be four root five minus five into three is fifteen root five, plus six into two will be twelve. Now we get sixteen root five after adding this root four plus twelve root five minus fifteen root five. So our answer will be a root five. Now question number six B part rationalize the denominator three upon two plus root five. This question is of two marks. Now three upon two plus root five. In order to rationalize the denominator, we will be multiplying by two minus root five upon two minus root five. Now in the numerator we get three into two minus root five. In the denominator we will be applying the formula of a plus b. A minus b, that is a square minus b square. So we will be writing two square minus under root five square. Now three will be multiplied inside. We will get six minus three root five upon two square is four. Under root five square will be five. So we get six minus three root five upon minus one, or this can be written as minus six plus three root. Five. This will be our number seven. Z is inversely proportional to the square of y minus two. When y is equal to five, z is equal to nine. Find z in terms of y. Now it has been given that z is inversely proportional to square of y minus two, so it can be written as z is inversely proportional to y minus two square. Now this can be written as z is equal to k upon y minus two square. Now value is given that when y is seven, y is five, z is nine. So we will be substituting z as nine and y as five. So we get nine is equal to k upon three square. So we get k as nine into nine, that is eighty one. So we have to write z in terms of y. So z is equal to k. 81 upon y minus 2 square. This will be our answer. It's a hexagon has five angles that each measure 115. Calculate the size of the sixth angle. Now we know that hexagon has six angles, so the each angle is given to be 115 degrees. The five angles we have to find the sixth angle. Now we know that sum of interior angles. Sum of interior angles of polygon is given by n minus two into one eighty degree, where n is number of sides. Now here the number of sides is six, so n is six. So the total, so the sum of angles. Of hexagon is given by six minus two into one eighty degree. That is four into one eighty degree. That is seven twenty degree. Now the five angles are one hundred fifteen each. So let the sixth angle be x. X plus five into one one five degree is equal to seven twenty. So x plus five seventy five degree is equal to seven twenty degree. So x will be 720 degree minus 575 degree 
that is 145 degree will be our answer now question number 9 f of x is equal to 1 upon x plus 4 x not equal to minus 1 g of x is x square minus 3x h of x is x cube plus 1 first part work out f of g of 1 this is of 2 marks so firstly we will be calculating g of 1 g of 1 will be substituting value 1 in g of x that is x square minus 3x so 1 will be 1 minus 3 into 1 that is 1 minus 3 so minus 2 now we have to find f of g of 1 we will be substituting minus 2 in this function that is given by 1 upon minus 2 plus 4 that is 1 upon 4 minus 2 is 2 so 1 upon 2 will be our answer question number 9 b part find h inverse x h of x is given by x cube plus 1 so we will be substituting let y is equal to x cube plus 1 now we will be making x as subject so x cube is equal to y minus 1 x will be equal to cube root of y minus 1 now we will be interchanging the value of x and y so y will be equal to cube root of x minus 1 so h inverse x is given by cube root of x minus 1 this will be our answer question number 9 c part solve the equation g of x is equal to minus 2 so g of x is given by x square minus 3x is equal to minus 2 or x square minus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0 now we will be factorizing it we will be splitting the middle term we will be writing it as x square minus x minus 2x plus 2 is equal to 0 now sum of this is minus 3x and multiply will be 2x square now we will be taking x common x minus 1 minus 2 common we get x minus 1 is equal to 0 x minus 1 is common x minus 2 is equal to 0 implies x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 2 this will be our answer now question number 10 a curve has equation y is equal to x cube minus 2x square plus 5 find the coordinates of its two stationary point this is a four marker question now as we have to find the stationary points we have to put dy by dx is equal to 0 now dy by dx is equal to 3x square minus 4x is equal to 0 now x is common we get 3x minus 4 is equal to 0 that implies x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 4 by 3 now we will be finding the value of y at x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 minus 0 plus 5 that is y is equal to 5 now add x is equal to 4 by 3 we get y is equal to 4 by 3 whole cube minus 2 into 4 by 3 square plus 5 which will be equal to 64 upon 27 minus 2 into 4 square is 16 upon 9 plus 5 we are taking the LCM 27 we get 64 minus 96 plus 135 so our y value will be 103 upon 27 now we have to find the coordinates of the stationary point so stationary point will be 0 comma 5 and 4 by 3 comma 103 upon 27 this will be our answer if you like this video please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.